Max Bowers is on untap. I know. You probably read the title or, or the thumbnail. It's on untap. Yes, it is. I know. I'm just as excited as you. Unless you're not excited. Why are you here? But in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to find the cards so you can play, right? And then the uh, the rule video is in the description. I'm also going to tell you the how the player abilities work and everything, like how you're going to set them up because I do not have a video on that yet. Uh, yet. I'm going to make it in this video because it's honestly so simple. I can probably explain it in like a minute. So that's going to be that. Next thing is, um, what's the next thing? Oh, in the description, you will see my Discord. The first thing there is my Discord. If you, I, I, if you're going to play and you have Discord or you can get Discord and, you know, you, you want to get it, join it. Uh, I'm highly suggesting that you join it because, or else you're going to have to, like, use, like, the comment section on YouTube to battle people. But on Discord, it's just perfect. I have it all set up. There's matchmaking and everything. There's, like, the matchmaking channel, so, like, you can find people to battle and everything. You can discuss, like, strategies, all that good stuff and everything. There's a card database, so you can see every card. You meet some amazing people. I know I have. It's just, it's it's perfect. It's perfect how it is. So, and there's also, like, voice channels and stuff. But, yeah, so join my Discord, Match Bowers Discord. It's also, like, you know, homemade well, CCG community stuff, but it's mostly Match Bowers. And, um... Yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, let's do the abil uh, player abilities first, and then we'll do, then I'll show you how to find the cards and everything. So, here, here, here's how it goes. Okay, so, also, the rule video is gonna be in the description as well. But, um, anyway, so, when you start off the game, you have, I'm also putting them, like, right in front of each other because uh, the camera can't pick up everything. But you have your team and your opponent's team, like, right there, right? So what you do, if you know the rule video, you have to roll a dice. And whoever gets higher number goes first. So why didn't I get a second dice? So he goes, all right, so let's just say I'm going to go first, right? So let's say I'm going first. What I would do is choose one of the player abilities on the uh the battle or effect card and whatever you're keeping track of your health you'll just like write it down or whatever if you're playing i mean if you're playing on untap i i uh, think you can put notes on the side i think you i think you can but you'll figure out a way on untap that's really easy so you'll just pick one player ability and then that's it. It pretty much does the rest for you. But once after you pick your player ability, your opponent would pick their player ability. And if I put, if I picked on, um, let's say, power charge, which is a, a player ability, and yeah, they can still pick power charge. So you can have the same player ability if you would like. So yeah, just roll goes first. All right, looks like I got two. My opponent. Oh wow, look at that. So I'm gonna go first. I'm gonna pick player ability. I'm gonna pick. Uh, Iron Guard. Sorry, I don't have the card here. But let's just say I picked Iron Guard. And let's say my opponent was like, alright, I'm going to pick a Medic. Okay. And then, boom. Then the game begins. And then that's where the rule video kicks in. That's how simple the player abilities are. The only, like, confusing part is just, like, the effects themselves, which is not confusing. So, yeah. That's the player abilities. You know, just listen to what the things say. I know that um, Iron Guard says um, if you have four or less points in your opponent plus three power to one of your bowers during an opponent's turn it literally tells you what it does so boom there's the player ability this isn't this is completely aside from the rules this is just kind of like a me and you type of thing i would really really like to hear your opinions on the player abilities in meaning if i should nerf some of them or buff some of them because since i can change the picture on untap you can have, like, you can have the Bad Wars Effect cards because, you know, everyone's going to have it. It's in your deck. Unless, like, you're, like, a legend. You just don't need it and you remember everything. Oh, my gosh. I should be praising to you. But, yeah, so if you have the Bad Wars Effect card and let's say I buffed, like, Iron Guard or, like, Power Charge or Fatigue or whatever, um, the thing would change for you. I'm pretty sure. So, it's not like physical cards where if you get it and then I change something, like I buff I buff an effect, then you have the wrong card. And on top, it's not like that. So, 
If you guys are like, ah, power charge is a little too overpowered, you gotta nerf it a little bit. You gotta nerf its power plus and everything, and if, like, you know, medic adds too much points or adds too little points. Then, you know, I just like to hear your opinions because if we have, like, everyone playing, we have all these different opinions, and then you can figure out what to, like, balance and everything. Or at least I can. You guys can just tell me what your opinions are on them. So, yeah, I'm going to be taking advantage of the uh, way that, you know, I can just change the cards and it would change for everyone. So now, I'm going to show you how to find the cards and, you know, how it's going to work on them. Okay, I'm on untap. Check this out. Is that what we're going to do? Where is that going to start? So, you have your deck. So, this is this is how you're going to find this is how you're going to find the cards, okay? You're going to type in the card's name and then MB. You don't really need the 330. I just say put an MB so there's Blood Scout. So if I were to type in let's say Tyrant, I already know a bunch of you guys are going to be using this card. There he is. Actually, here's two cards. He's got uh, he's got uh, uh what is this card? Let's see. Who's it gonna be? It's gonna be nothing. I don't know why that one's not loading. Tyrant's there though. Oh, there they are. Tyrant and Nightmare. All right, boom. So then what you're gonna do, you're gonna drag your card to your deck. I already have enough cards though. And you see this card right here, this card's very important. Every deck has this card. So, and this card's name, get the heck out of the way, is effects card MB. That's what you're gonna type in. So the find, Literally like the most important card. You're gonna type in effects and B. It'll probably make it better if you made it all caps, but still it found it. Let's look at the picture and boom, there it is. So yeah, that's how you're gonna find the cards. Every card is on here, including the exclusives. If you go onto my Discord in the card database, all of those cards are on untap. Not every card you have seen on my channel, not yet, but every card's in. Now let's see how it's gonna work when you're in a battle. Like, how's it gonna work with the rolling of the dice and all that stuff? Okay, so I made a game. Someone already stole my name. We're gonna go enter game. No, I'm just kidding. That was me. All right, main deck. Super beard. All right, now. Oh, they're down here. You're gonna grab your cards. And you're gonna drag them out to the field. There is. I don't think there's any way you can make your cards bigger. So that's not my fault. But boom. Now I have my cards out. Right, right, right. So boom. There it is. If you're wondering about how the health is gonna go. That's two health, and that's one health. So, yeah, super easy with the health. But now, how is, how is like, you know, how is rolling the dice gonna work on untap? So, this is, this is the most, I think, best way. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna type in the person that you're attacking with, so your opponent knows what's going on. Oh yeah, first, Lower your health to 15. Bam. So, boom. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, let me just let me just type it in again so it makes it even. You're supposed to lower your health like in the beginning. All right, whatever. We're going to be playing with George. And then what you're going to do, and they did change this. They used to just be able to, like, press it, but now you got to go like this. So you're going to go, you're going to click this like that. I know it might be a little bit annoying, but, hey, deal with it. So what we get? Four, two, and a one. Okay, what is that? Seven. That's not really that good. But you might get some real good numbers here. Alright, so you got seven with the base, and then you can't see that. And then he also got a six. I know George has six right there. He's got five. So he got a really bad attack, but, you know. So let's just say we're like... Oh, I'm using my left hand now. Alright, now we're going to type in chat. If, like, if, uh... If George didn't get anything, just type in the next guy's name, and then you're going to do the same exact thing. Now, the reason why you want to type in the chat, like, their name and stuff, is because it evens it out. See, if this was, if that wasn't there, and it was just, like, a bunch of that, it gets so confusing. So, spacing it out is good. So, in fact, you can even space it out again. For example, like, I think this is 15. You can actually put 15 if you want, and then go again. Um, I will probably just, you know... So what do you get? Alright, that sucks. But, wait, who am I talking with? Oh, Heavy Armor Knight. Yeah, he doesn't have any of those. That was uh, Blood Scout. Would have been amazing. But yeah, so that's basically how it's going to work. Now, you might be thinking, how is the um, player ability going to work? Because your opponent has to know what you're playing. Um, well, easily, you could just type in what player ability you're using. 
so they'll know which one. So if I just typed in fatigue, boom, he knows I'm using fatigue. I don't know how to add notes though, but I, I don't know how to add notes. I think you guys probably know more than me. You could probably figure it out, but I don't know how to add notes. You used to be able to. It used to be really simple, but I can't figure it out now. But yeah, and then if um, I don't know how to do anything now because they, I think they changed it up. Unless they didn't, I don't really know. But, so yeah, you can do the health. Now, what if your battler has an effect? Like, what if, uh, let's say, George here has, like, defense? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to use I'm tapping it more. I lost it. You could probably figure it out, though. I mean, you could probably, you know, you could, you could probably just type it in chat. George, and then you could put, like, defense, and then you could put, like, heavy... Heavy, you know, heavy got offense. Can you guys see that? I oh, know I'm doing really bad camera work. I'm like the worst YouTuber ever. Then we have uh, <laughs> obsessed, and then blood scout. We got we got blood scout. Blood evs. Uh, that, that wait, that's how did that come there? So yeah, blood's fee. He has uh, he has uh, he's uh, he's nothing because he attacked. So boom, we don't even need blood's fee. So that boom, there you go. George defense, heavy up is the offense. So boom, that's how it's gonna work. If you know how to add notes and stuff, it, you're, it's much easier. I don't know how to do that though. So this is how I would do it. But yeah. So yeah, Match Bowers is now on Untap. I am, I'm excited. Oh wow, what is this camera angle? I'm excited. I'm excited to battle you guys. I'm excited to just. I'm gonna say just to battle different people. I haven't really battled different people in so long. I battled my cousin. I did fight other people before, but you know, I think that was like the older rules and stuff, so it was different. But yeah, I I can't wait. I'm really excited to fight you guys. I'm really excited to beat you, make fun of you, and make you not into the game anymore. So yeah, I'm really excited to uh, destroy you guys with big beard, uh, shark with tusk, uh, nightmare. Oh yeah, new card. Well, no, not new card, but remake nightmare. Remake a blaster, which I did change him a lot, as you can tell. And remake a fuzzy. Oh my gosh, this one's so much better. But yeah, Mash Powers is an untap. In the description, Discord, rule video, all that good stuff. I did tell you about the player abilities early in the video and everything. I'm going to try to get starter decks on there. So people who like you know are confused of how to make a deck. Quick tip, this is how you make a deck. Pick three cards you like. And the effect card, and you're done. And you're done. Good job. You're done. But obviously, you know, if you, you know, you don't want to just put like this together because you know you gotta know, you gotta know how to play these decks and stuff. So, but yeah, hopefully I can get some starter decks in the description. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to because if you guys know, my IQ when it goes to Discord zero, when it goes to Untap, you, you observe like before negative zero but like under oh, i don't even know just the, the the percentages they get to zero is where my iq is at right there but yeah that's it